Hello and welcome back and this is for another lap and test and as ever we are starting with the offer vehicles and this week the offers have given me some interesting laps to do so let's see how this goes and that's obviously how this one is going to go so we're going to start with this which is the BF Weevil so this is my god um, on offer this week um, now this as you can see is the Benny's version um, and Benny's upgrades are also on offer this week now I thought this would be an interesting test to do because I believe this car although it might not look like it has the highest top speed of any of the non HSW cars in the game now you might think that it would also then be fair to describe this as the fastest non HSW car in the game um, I would just like to confirm that that is not oh an appropriate description but let's take it on lap anyway and see how we do right so let's start with city handling and is it a naught out of 10 or is it a 1 out of 10 uh, I might need to start giving half marks um, I'm going to be generous I'm going to be very 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 generous and give it a 1 out of 10 for handling through the city it is appalling um, it has no downforce it has no grip it has no turning it has both horrific understeer like that which is when you turn the wheel and nothing happens and it has horrific oversteer at the same time um, there is nothing about this that's nice to drive as you can see by the fact that I can't avoid even the most basic of accidents right okay so let's uh, let me shut up and concentrate on this uh, section of freeway for a second not holding out much hope for a decent lap time this thing is almost undrivable so yes it does have according to the stats a very very high top speed but what that top speed doesn't tell you is the scale of the compromise that you have to take on the handling which makes that top speed almost unattainable and there I was practically stationary before going around that corner and I still lost the back end after understeering into the corner right so let's just get around this top section of the map so again downforce one <laughs> um, it, it's able to move forward so I can't really give it zero but it is almost totally undrivable it's doing it's actually now that I say that it's actually doing okay on this section so let's get round to the top speed and see how we do around there So I'm sure you know this works by now. I've got two points on the road that are exactly one mile apart. Floor it between them and record it and see how, see what we manage to hit. And hopefully that doesn't mean hitting all of the other cars. Finish line here.
Okay, so, um, as we come to the bit that is presumably going to be an utter disaster, let's go through the actual review of this car. So should you buy it, because it is on offer this week, and the Benny's upgrades are on offer too. So should you buy it? Um, I guess the answer is, let your conscience be your guide. Um, and it depends what you're buying it for. If you think the Beetle looks cool, because obviously this is based on the Beetle, then yeah, go for it, buy it. If you think the standard Beetle looks cool, just leave it as it is. If you like the whole beach buggy look, then go for the Benny's upgrade. Um, so yeah, if it's cool factor, if it's the beach factor, if you just think it looks like a really cool car, go for it. If you're buying it because you've seen on a spec list that this has a very high top speed, then this ooh, is the wrong car for you. That top speed is almost entirely unattainable and this car is totally and completely and utterly useless in traffic, um, which is made even worse by the fact that it's just started raining. But I'm not going to restart this lap because I just I just don't want to take this thing on another lap of the map. It's just it's just too horrible. So we'll get over here and we'll see what the finish time looks like. It might actually be an okay-ish time because we did have a clean section at a very good top speed. Um, but yeah, it is on offer. Fabulous looking car, absolute turd to drive. So if you want something that looks nice in your garage. Go for it, and here are your final times.